Hello YouTube Alonians, you're watching this video because your tail light is broken out and you need to replace it. I'll show you how, it's really easy. In addition, I will show you how to remove and replace the light bulb from your tail light. If you're like my daughter, she drives a car that's a magnet, which attracts other cars to hit it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this time it wasn't her fault, there was ice and this tail light got broke out. And uh, so you're watching this video because you want to replace your tail ends. The parts you're going to need for this tail light replacement are quite simple. Actually, you could just get by with just a screwdriver and a pliers. That's all you really need. Let's go outside and put that part in. Oh, yeah. Also, you need a new tail light. There we go. You can go online and order one from your favorite place. If you don't have a favorite place, I would recommend either Amazon or eBay. Um, and I'm not advertising either one of those, but I really love Amazon personally. This is the tail light assembly, and it is the correct side. This is the driver's side tail light assembly, because it goes around to the body on that side. You can buy another one for all oh, 30, 35 bucks. Okay, and as I mentioned inside, really all you need is just a simple screwdriver. I like using the power tool because it comes out a lot faster, but that's not gonna work because it's not gonna make it past this this ledge. You might have trouble getting your screwdriver to reach this one, but it's not too bad. Just use a longer screwdriver and it's the first initial couple turns that matter. Try very hard not to strip that screw. So obviously I'm not going to be able to use this on that one, but I can use this on the top one. The top one you can use a screwdriver on too, but it's more fun to use a power tool like this. Again, being careful not to strip it. To remove this lens, there's just simply two screws. They're right here on the inside. They're nice and short. It's not too hard to uh, remove this tail light. And it comes right out. It, it's gonna be um, attached on the inside, so you just have to wiggle it to get the clips to release. And then be careful with the wires so that you don't, and we got parts, which is why we're replacing it. During this part, I really recommend that you um, label your lights before you remove them. Um, this is going to be reverse light. This is going to be the middle. This is going to be top. That simple. There. See this tab? Push it in. It's kind of like a safety lock on a pill bottle. Okay, these take a slight twist. It's like a puzzle. You see where they fit? Another thing to check too is um, the accident could have burned out these light bulbs or it could have broken these light, this light harness. And I can see this one is not broken. You see how they clip in there? They just go in and twist. They go in and lock in place. And then you're gonna have to remove this tab that holds it, holds the wiring harness in place. Uh, that's why I brought a pipe. See how that goes in there like that? So pliers to squeeze it and push it through. You could use a screwdriver too probably, but now you see why I labeled these? Because now they're you don't know what order they go in. Can you see in here? Right here? Yep, that yellow thing. Yeah, that yellow thing sometimes comes out with the screw. This time it did not. But if it does come out with a screw, then put it back into the hole. This one won't come out, so that's good. But it goes with this. And that just goes right in place, like that. Now I will show you how to remove and replace the light bulbs. Anytime you have your tail light broken, it's highly recommended that you replace the light bulbs before putting it back in. When you put the new one in, make sure you have clean fingers and it just slides right back into the receptacle. So the white goes on the bottom. We labeled it as reverse light, R for reverse. You could put B for bottom, bikini bottom, SpongeBob SquarePants. See how that locks in place? And then the middle one, which is this one here. Make sure they lock in place. Oh, you know what? Before we put these in, let's uh, have Kate test the light bulbs. Okay, left signal, that works. Okay, shut off the left signal, push the brake. Okay, the brake lights work, perfect. 
Now just put it in reverse, but you gotta hold the brake so you don't run over me and my camera. No reverse light. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it was a little loose. Try one more time. Yep, it works. Okay, so test is passed. All of your light bulbs work. Now, let's, you can shut it off. Reverse light goes on the bottom, thusly. M for middle. And it's a 30 degree day and I'm wearing short sleeves, but I love this temperature. Look at that, that locks in place too. So if you ever need to change your light bulbs, you just have to push that, just like a pill bottle. And then the top one, very carefully. These bulbs are kind of sensitive because if you bump them too hard, they will burn out. This one's a little bit tougher to get it. There. And lock that in place. They're all three locked. There's a seal, a rubber seal should stay there. Make sure that's in place. That's what keeps the moisture out. Okay. This goes right into that yellow uh, receptacle that I showed you right there. So, and uh, also move the harness so that you don't get a short in the wire. There it is, it's in. So you gotta kinda push it in the rest of the way. You get to push it in more. Oh, it goes into here. See that little plastic part? Yeah. Line it up. Line up your screws. Don't tighten them all the way, just get them in place so that you can line them both up. It just takes a little patience and a little elbow grease maybe. But also remember these are all plastic parts. You don't wanna force anything and break it. And you don't wanna over tighten things either. Get it started, but then don't put it in the rest of the way. That way you can line up the top one. You're gonna have to hold that lens in place while you get it firmed up. Okay, both screws are lined up and in. So now you can tighten them all the way. I'm not gonna use a power tool to tighten it because a power tool may tend to damage the part. If you over tighten, the plastic will just split and break. Can you see that okay? Mm -hmm. Push it in and make sure there's no play in it. Tighten it up all the way without over tightening and breaking it. And you can tell by this is why your hand has to be over here. You can see it's still a little loose. There is a little damage from the crash. So it's, it's not lining up exactly right. So you may have to kind of play with it a little bit more if you have other body damage. And I could have taken the pliers and straightened this back out, but you know what? These line up good enough. I'm not gonna mess with it because I might misalign the hole so bad that it won't even line up at all. So the other light was in it, so that means this one should be fine too. Cinch those up. We'll test the light one more time just to make sure it's all assembled back to where it should be. And there you go, that's your tail light replacement. Simple, two screws and a clip. Just make sure you replace the light bulbs, test them before you put them in. Go ahead and test it again there, Kate. The only other problem we have is this messy car. <laughs> I wonder how long she'll have a vacuum in her car for. Signal works. Brake lights work. Of course, the, te the reverse light doesn't work now. Really? Yeah. So Kate with the crash vehicle, you know what we call her? 
Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Remember that video game from the yeah. 90s? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They did remake it. It's you. You and little blue. No. Your blue car. It's the big magnet. Kate drives around and other cars are attracted to her. Run into her. What have we got? And give her damage. There you are. It's that simple. 30 bucks. You can get yourself a new part. Carry your car. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and click thumbs up. I have other repair videos that you might like to see as well. Thanks for watching.